Hi, boys and girls. I'm so happy to see you today. It was so wonderful to see you on Friday on our Zoom meeting. I miss you guys so much. Well, let's get right down to it. The month we're in is May. Good job. And let's figure out what today's date is. One, two, three, four. Good job. Today is... Monday, May 4th, 2020. Good job. Let's look at our letter of the week. It's going to be Y. Now, Y is a tricky letter. It's sometimes a consonant and it's sometimes a vowel. When it's a consonant, it makes the sound Y. Like yarn, yoke, yawn. Oh, I'm so tired. Yam, yo-yo, yak, yogurt. Now, when it decides to be a vowel, now you know we have five vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Sometimes Y is a vowel. It's only a vowel if it's at the end of a word, like, can you come over here, Miss Kelly? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you guys see the whiteboard? Let's look. If I write the word cry, C-R-Y, cry, the Y is the vowel in that word. Or if I write the word try, T-R-Y. The Y is the vowel. Okay, loves? Sometimes it's a consonant, sometimes it's a vowel. It depends where it is in the word. Good to remember that. Okay. I'd like to do a quick review of the plant life cycle. I want you to remember. Now, last week we talked a lot about the parts of a flower, the parts of a plant. And this is just a review of the life cycle of a plant. It starts with the seed down in the dirt, getting all the sunshine it needs. And here it is, sunshine, rain. And the seed coat breaks open and out pops the little root, the first root that comes out. The next part of the life cycle, you still have the sun in the sky and it's still raining. You still have the dirt. But the seed, it's grown up now on the stem. And actually that part, see the seed? It's now up here, part of the flower. And this, the outside seed coat is falling off now. Okay? Come all the way over here. We still have the sun, the dirt, the roots. Look at all the roots. We started with just one and now, and then a couple more, and then a couple more. The stem is growing up. Plants will always grow toward the sun. So there it is growing up toward the sun and it has leaves. And here it is, finally it's flowering. And the flowers here, you can see them right here. But underneath those flowers will grow a tomato. This is a tomato plant. Now this should kind of remind you of when we did apples, when we did life cycle of a pumpkin. It's the same cycle because those are all plants. Seed, the first root, more roots, stem growing up, stem growing up more, more, more roots, and then the last stage, the flowering, and then you get your fruit, in this case, tomato. Did you know tomatoes are a fruit? Crazy, right? Okay, I have a beautiful story that I want to read to you today. Now, you know that today's lesson plans are all about you. And you know how special we think you are. We think you are amazing, beautiful, wonderful little children. And here's a story. It's called, There's Only One You. I think you're really going to like this. Where's the author and the publisher? 
here it is. The author is Catherine Helling and Deborah Hembrook. They must have been friends because they wrote the book together. Illustrated by Rosie Butcher. Hey, we have a Rosie. Illustrator means she made the pictures. And it's published by Scholastic. You folks know we love Scholastic books. In all the world over, this much is true. Somebody special. There's only one you. Your knees might feel knobby. Your ears might stick out. Are you tall? Are you short? Are you thin? Are you stout? You might be outgoing or maybe you're meek. Whatever. It's awesome being unique. Unique means one of a kind. And that's how God made each of us. Do your feelings spill out? Do they lay low and hide? You might cry when you're sad or keep your tears inside. Do you smile just a bit or laugh loud with a shriek? You're different. It's awesome being unique. Your color of skin is a beautiful sight. Light as the moon or dark as the night. Your skin is so perfect from toes to your cheeks. It's truly splendiferous being unique. Look at, they're getting their face painted. Your hair might be curly or a long, thick cascade, worn short in a buzz cut or tied in a braid. Your hair might be poofy or straight, smooth, and sleek. It's wild, it's wonderful, being unique. When there's something to say, do you talk with your hands? Aha! Do you speak with an accent from faraway lands? Like New York City, for example. You know, I'm just saying. Some voices are booming and some just a squeak. Your way is the best way of being unique. Can you sing? Can you dance? Sports and drawing are fun. Good at spelling or math? Do you like more than one? Is building for you or gymnastics techniques? It's great. Celebrate being unique. You might have cool glasses that help you to see. A wheelchair or a walker that gives mobility. A hearing aid helps you to hear people speak. Listen, it's glorious being unique. Friends come in bunches or groups of a few, or maybe just one friend is perfect for you. Do you play with your friends once a day, once a week? It's fun, it's fabulous being unique. When it's time to dig in and learn something new, there's more than one way of seeing it through. You can work slow and steady or in a fast streak. Your brains grow in your way, being unique. Families are families, but soon you will find that each can be different, best for them of a kind. You're part of a family, you make it complete. Hooray for the one that's yours, it's unique. 
In all the world over, this much is true. You're special, unique. There's just one of you. These pages sticky. Oh, and that's the end. Thanks for reading with me today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you. Bye.